day everyone and uh, welcome to another discussion about office etiquette now uh, we will be looking at about um, professional communication this time huh? so um, yeah. so effective communication is about conveying your message to other people clearly huh? malinaw na pag um, bigay ng mensahe sa iyong uh, boss or iyong um, nakakata sa iyo and about your colleagues uh, messages uh, to your colleagues and of course to um, your uh, other subordinates no? now um, it's also about receiving and interpreting information that others are sending to you no? with as little distortion as possible so mahirap na kung ang uh, mensaheng natatanggap mo ay um, distorted it seems like uh, hindi kayo nakakaintindihan no? and uh, you might misinterpret those uh, informations na natatanggap mo sa kanila and the same thing with you uh, sending information to them na pag distorted hindi nila maintindihan and this might cause problems right now doing this involves uh, effort from both uh, the sender uh, of the message and the receiver you know sinasabi ko kanina that uh, we uh, there should uh, there should be a, a mutual um, communication na dapat naiintindihan ng kasama mo at naiintindihan mo din ang sinasabi nila. Right? Now, let's move on to communication styles. No? So, once you recognize communication styles, you can adjust your own to um, communicate more uh, effectively. No? So, um, yeah, uh, recognition of um, the communication styles of your colleagues, your boss, and others. At mas ma... Um, may integrate mo yung kanilang uh, uh, sinasabi right now ideally uh, this is mutual okay but if the other person does not adjust uh, their style it's up to you to uh, accommodate and adjust to make the interaction as successful as possible yan din ang uh, minsan no uh, we know some people are really that um, rigid when it comes to their styles so uh, it's up to us already to to adjust uh, with our styles uh, para uh, mas uh, smooth ang ating relationship and uh, the way we communicate would be easy right? now um, one important thing is you must understand what your uh, message is okay? and what also uh, what ma uh, audience you are sending it to and anticipate how it may be perceived so minsan uh, may mga tao na uh, may sinasabi sila pero sila mismo din nila naiintindihan uh, naiintindihan ang kanilang sinasabi okay at dapat um tinitingnan din kung sino yung mga pagbibigyan ng um message kung yung boss mo how do you communicate with your boss okay kung subordinates mo naman uh, what uh, communication style would you use okay so um yung mga ito ang mga bagay ang dapat uh, tinitingnan natin right also weigh in the circumstances surrounding your communications such as ano yung sitwasyon at kung uh, anong cultural background ng iyong kasama okay um, again uh, as i repeatedly mentioned before na uh, pilipinas ay multi uh, multicultural at multilingual uh, tayo so meaning to say um, we have to uh, take into consideration for that no? kasi mahirap din ang um, ang pinipilit mo ang iyong kultura sa ibang tao. Right? Now, uh, let's take a uh, look at different uh, people when it comes to um, the offices. No? And we have, number one there is the driver. Okay? These people are usually action-oriented. No? Gusto nila sila yung nagtatrabaho. They act upon it. No? Um, basta ang gusto nila magtrabaho kung ano yung uh, kinakailangan ng opisina uh, sila ang gagawa alright and they are good in starting things yeah, they get results taking control and making decisions so ito yung mga decision makers okay so um uh, the by the name uh, that was given to them sila yung nagda drive talaga no sila yung nagbibigay ng direction sa isang grupo alright and they are usually competitive okay and uh, they want to win they loves to win right and um, 
They have strong opinions uh, kung uh, anong sinasabi nila may impact talaga. When it comes to meetings, sila yung uh, tinitingala. Alright? And um, they are more concerned about getting things done than forming relationships. So, hindi sila yung um, people-oriented na individual. Mas gusto nila kung ano yung uh, uh, result or I mean uh, kung ano yung mga bagay na gagawin yun ang uh, inuuno nila uh, inuuna I mean kaysa makipag uh, halubilo sa ibang tao okay? and they want to take charge okay? so when it comes to uh, group uh, meetings group activities uh, they want to take charge of these things right next one here we have the analyst so, di, sila, uh, by the um, title itself, sila yung uh, nag-iisip, the thinking person within an office, right? And they are good in figuring uh, things out, right? Good in planning um, action, also in gathering data para mas ma-improve pa ang, uh, kung ano yung kinakailangan ng isang opisina, right? And of course, they can look at the pros and cons of each step. So, sila yung mga na-analyze nila kung anong ga, uh, ito ang gagawin ng isang opisina, ano ko yung mag, uh, magiging outcome nito. Okay? Ano yung mga negative effects and positive uh, effects nito. Okay? Um, of course, they would uh, plans for, uh, they have plans for delays. Okay? They work uh, with method and of course, they love to uh, meet the deadlines. Alayaw nila yung uh, nahuhuli sila. Okay? When it comes to um, uh, uh, things na kailangang isubmit sa opisina. Right? Now, next is okay. It may seem standoffish or medyo na ano talaga um, uh, sinasabi yung natin ito yung mga loner. Okay? Because they uh, prefer to work alone. Okay? Mas, um, as an analyst, gusto nilang uh, sila yung uh, nagtatrabaho. Okay? And they would uh, uh, produce excellent results right. so ito yung mga analyst natin okay. baka um, now na student pa lang kayo I mean or some of you are working already I know okay makikita natin to may mga taong ganito talaga alright the next one there is the supporter okay so uh, silo, uh, sila ang ma na, um, may tuturing na uh, people oriented right because they are sociable and they relate to others through warmth and uh, friendliness. Okay, ito yung talagang uh, palakaibigan na kasama natin. No? Uh, and ano pa? They let others take the lead. Okay? Um, they are just there to support. Okay? And um, creates and maintains cooperation. Okay? Yun nga, uh, dahil supporters sila, they, they uh, support, they cooperate with um, the uh, leaders kung uh, sinong leader nila now they share credit as well they uh, sticks and um, uh, sticks to try and uh, true methods likes informality okay uses personal influence to get uh, things done kasi nga uh, ito yung mga taong talagang sociable and um may be overly concerned uh, about what others uh, think kasi nga uh, ayaw nila na sila yung nababash no? uh, ayaw nilang uh, nakikriticize so min uh, minsan ano ko yung uh, iisipin ng ibang tao tungkol sa akin alright and um, they prefer to work with a team okay? uh, kasi nga uh, they, they, as a supporter no? they, uh, they support their group alright Next here is our expressor, right? So they are the promoters of idea, okay? They promote ideas, okay? They relate to others uh, through power or person of personality. Uh, creates energy and enthus uh, enthusiasm, okay? What else? Generates ideas and motivates others. Um, the good thing uh, for them are they are uh, risk takers, right? They also work intensely, okay? and uh, 
but then they leave uh, details to others right so min, minsan sila yung talagang uh, meron silang idea okay they promote ideas but then the details of it okay kailangan pang i-figure eight uh, figure out ng iba okay they also hate routinary tasks okay gusto nila yung uh, may challenge every day when they go to work um uh, may iba na naman what else they prefer to work with others okay but gusto nila as a leader of the group okay so uh yan ang uh, characteristics ng uh, isang expressor all right so uh, how do we deal with each of these communication styles no? so um um, diyan na yung mga factors and then um, din yung mga expressor, driver, supporter, and analyst. So, how do we deal with them? Okay. First factor there is how to recognize. Okay. The expressor, they um, are the ones who usually gets excited when something new is uh, presented. Okay. The driver, on the other hand, they like their own way. Okay. Uh, decisive with um, strongly held viewpoints. So, ito yung mga, um, uh, kung paano mo makikilala ang mga ito. Uh, sa supporter naman, they like positive attention, okay? To be helpful and to be regarded warmly, okay? Mga people-oriented. They seek a lot of data, ask many questions, and behave methodically and systematically. So, ito naman ang uh, characteristic ng isang analyst. Alright? Uh, ano yung mga tinatanong? They, uh, for the expressor, they tend to ask who, okay? The personal and dominant uh, question. Okay, so sino ang susundin, okay? Uh, who, uh, sino ang ma-appoint dito sa part na ito? Okay? The driver, on the other hand, is the what, okay? Um, uh, person, okay? The results-oriented question. What are the results for this week? What are the tasks needed to uh, accomplish uh, things? No? The supporter naman, why? Okay? The personal and non-goal question. Okay? Why are uh, things going this way? Okay? Why is um, our boss like that? No? And uh, why are you sad? No? Uh, the, the personal mismo. No? Pero hindi talaga uh, about the uh, goal na pinag-uusapan sa grupo. Okay? The analyst, on the other hand, is the how. Okay? The technical analytical question. How do we do things? Okay? What are the first steps? Um, how are things done okay? in a certain um, office? Okay? What they dislike is, for the expressor, they dislike boring explanations and wasting time uh, with too many facts. Yung nga, uh, madali silang, ayaw nila ang routinary uh, works. So, uh, kung uh, paulit-ulit na lang, no, they get bored. For the driver, someone wasting their uh, time trying to decide for them. Okay? So, gusto nila, sila yung uh, nakaka nakakapag-decide. Okay? Ayaw, ayaw nila ang um, may nag-decide para sa kanila. Okay? For the supporter, they hate rejection. Okay? Uh, they, uh, they hate being treated impersonally, uh, uncaring, and unfeeling attitudes. And uh, for the analyst, ayaw nila ang nagkakaroon ng error. Okay? And uh, ayaw nila ang hindi sila prepared when it comes to their presentation. What else? Um, reacts to per, uh, pressure and uh, tension by, for the um, expressor, selling their ideas or being argumentative all right kung na pressure na sila they tend to argue all right and um, for the driver they tend to become more um, uh, taking more control all right uh, to take charge but for the supporter tatahimik na lang okay withdrawing and becoming introspective okay ano kaya ang um, uh, gagawin ko so they tend to become uh, calm um, when they are uh, being pressured, okay? And uh, when the analyst is pressured naman, they as, uh, tend to seek more data and information para uh, mas um, maganda ang kanilang presentation, right? 
and uh, the best way to deal with them is to um, get excited with them okay and show emotion okay what are the things that a person uh, might be excited to right and uh, for the driver let them be in charge okay and the supporter okay let them be supportive and uh, let them show you care right and sa mga analyst bigyan mo sila ng lahat uh, lahat ng impormasyon na kailangan nila okay ang mga datos para uh, uh, kasi ito yung mga gawain nila eh. right and um, and likes to be measured by gusto nila yung expressor they want applause they want feedback and recognition and for the driver they want results okay and goals for the um, uh, supporter they uh, likes to uh, be measured by friends close uh, relationships okay and um, for the analyst we have their activity that leads to results what else we have here okay uh, things that they must be allowed to number one there for the expressor is get ahead quickly okay they like challenges ayaw nila ang uh, routine so bigyan mo sila ng challenging tasks all right and for the driver get into uh, competitive situations because they likes to win all right and for the supporter let them relax feel okay yeah, let them care and know you care okay and for the analy uh, analyst make decisions at own pace and not be concerned or pressured and uh, lastly uh, what are the things that they can improve with okay uh, recognition and some structure to uh, reach a goal for the expressor okay for the driver a position that requires cooperation with others gusto nila sila laging naglilid right for the supporter a structure of goals and methods for achieving each goal kasi kung uh, sobrang relax naman no uh, lax ang uh, supervision sa kanya baka talagang mag-relax lang okay pag-usap lang sa katrabaho for the analyst uh, they uh, will need to improve okay interpersonal and communication skills so they tend to work alone gusto lang sila lang uh, nag -ano. so um, they need to improve on their interpersonal uh, and communication skills right now um the uh what are the things that they like to save okay for the expressor they likes to save effort okay they rely heavily on hunches intuition and feelings so um ayun nila yung mag uh, sila yung mag effort talaga okay um uh, sila yung at uh, gagawa ng lahat-lahat but for the driver they like to save time gusto na matapos agad-agad they like to have uh, they like to be efficient uh, and um, get uh, things done now okay hindi nila pinagpa uh, pinapabukas ang uh, gawain kundi gusto nila lang matapos agad-agad all right and uh, for the supporter they likes to save relationships and uh, because uh, friendship uh, means a lot to them and uh, for the analyst naman they likes to save face their faces okay they hate to make an error okay be wrong or get caught without enough info so uh talagang pinag-iigihan nila all right para hindi sila mapahiya or um hindi sila um uh, short change when it comes to uh results okay for best results uh inspire them to be um to bigger and better uh, accomplishments for the expressor and the driver allow them um free uh freedom to do things uh their own way and uh, the supporter care and provi uh, provide detail specific plans and activities to be accomplished um, the same things na, na mentioned natin kanina and for the analyst um, structure a framework or or track to flow All right okay so uh yun ang mga um dapat nating um malaman when it comes to uh, how to deal with these different kinds of uh, colleagues in the future now um, 
using body language okay, body language is a non-verbal and often unintended communication on the part of one uh, individual to another no? so um, um, non-verbal communication includes facial expressions head movements eye contact hand gestures and body position we'll be uh, looking at these things as we progress with our discussion no? and uh, in general uh, body language uh, expresses an individual's emotions feelings and attitudes right now okay. alam nyo ba okay. did you know sabi dito nonverbal communication accounts uh, for more than 50 per, uh, 55 percent of the impact you make okay so mataas na yan ha so 55 percent ang naibibigay niyo ang impact nonverbal communications or body just uh, body languages no? Are gestures and uh, nonverbal communications uh, constitutes to uh, 55 percent what you say accounts only for seven percent okay and how you say it accounts for about 38 percent all right so uh, hindi masyadong mataas kung ano yung uh, hindi importante kung ano yung sinasabi mo okay the important thing is how you say it right uh, nakikita niyo, alright, sa mga um, uh, talagang nagmamarket sa kanilang uh, business, it's not the way na kung yes, may mga facts na binibigay sila, pero kung paano nila binibigay ba ito? Okay? May mga iba tala, talagang uh, nagmamarket na very assertive, na talagang um, unang linya pa lang ng sinasabi nila, ma- uh, uh, ma- Iinggan nyo ka na. Alright? So, it's not uh, the things, okay, that you say. It's how about you say it. Alright? Now, as a speaker, okay, your movements, uh, gestures, eye contact, and facial expressions all send out messages to other people. Okay? These are um, things uh, that are included in um, nonverbal communication. And uh, misunderstanding and confusion occur when your body language does not support what you are saying. Okay? So, uh, anong sinasabi dito? Um, hindi sinusuportahan ng iyong um, ba- body language ang sinasabi mo. Kunwari ito. Okay? Meron kang isang um, katrabaho. Sabi, uh, sabi mo, Uy, friend, na-promote ako as a manager. Tapos, uh, uh, anong gagawin niya? Okay. Um, sasabihin lang niya, oh, that's great. Tapos, balik, ni, uh, balik siya sa trabaho niya. Is that a good uh, indication na talagang uh, na-appreciate ka niya? No. Kasi, ang uh, sinasabi niya, hindi, sinus- uh, hindi, sum- uh, hindi sumusunod sa kanyang body language. Bakit siya babalik agad sa trabaho niya? Kung ano. Hindi, dapat, uh, the way he... Uh, uh, anong expression niya dapat no? uh, mag smile or to get excited right? so uh, yung mga bagay na yan right? now when it comes to posture okay, when you are sitting okay, uh, minsan okay, slouching uh, can indicate low self esteem and disinterest kung ano ang sinasabi ng iba right? at ano pa Sitting at an angle or uh, facing uh, facing away from a person during a group discussion appears rude, okay, and indicates that you want to leave, right? And of course, uh, if you are interviewing someone and are leaning back on your chair, okay, it can indicate boredom. Okay? And if you are uh, involved in discussions and are seated, crossing arms could be interpreted as not being open to other ideas. Okay, means an ayam mong ayam mo lang ay mong tumanggap ng ibang idea ng iba. Alright? And uh, when you're standing, okay, shifting your uh, body weight from one foot to another can indicate impatience. Right? And standing with your arms crossed creates a barrier uh, between you and the listener. Right? So, uh, let's take, an, uh, uh, t- t- um, take note of these uh, things when it um, comes to offices. And um, also, 
take note of, of the listener's posture okay? leaning forward slightly indicates uh, keenness and um, interest all right leaning back uh, a little will show a listener is relaxed but leaning back too far can be interpreted as not being interested okay so take a look at these uh, things when um, uh, you are uh, talking to someone now when it comes to movements sorry sa may nakakotintero so um movements uh, appropriate movements okay uh, make sure movements are appropriate okay kasi um if you are talking to uh, talking about something serious okay do not wave your uh, arms uh, around wildly na parang um sobra naman na OA na overacting na. So, uh, just the uh, simple movements, kung kailangan mong i-action talaga yung sinasabi mo, okay? kasi yung mga pasimple lang na hindi talagang uh, para kang nagwawala. Right? Um, distracting movements, on the other hand, should never, uh, you should never distract attention from your speech. Okay? Uh, if you make too m uh, many movements, your audience may pay more attention to your appearance than what you are saying. Okay. Uh, baka mas titignan lang kung uh, ano yung mga actions mo. Okay. They, they, they might get distracted okay, by the movements you are doing. All right. And uh, excessive movement okay, um, can give the impression that you are out of control. Okay. Facing up uh, and down okay. a stage could indicate nervousness. Now, makikita nila yan. And as an audience, alam nila kung ang isang tao ay nervyoso talaga. Okay? Kasi minsan, uh, mga, mga kaibigan tayo na pag kinakausap mo naman na uh, wala sa stage, okay lang, kalmado siya. Pero pagpunta sa stage, sobra namang uh, ano yung OA, ang kanyang uh, movements. Kasi maybe they are nervous or talagang uh, may nagpapakita ng gilas, mga ganang bagay. And artificial movements, on the other hand, okay, uh, it should look natural and spontaneous. Okay. Our, um, artif uh, artificial movements and uh, overuse of body movements will have a negative um, effect on the audience. Okay. So if your movements look forced and unnatural, the audience may, uh, may not believe what you are saying. 